Hello team, this is Manas Tupati here. Today I'll let you know how to create a uh, snapshot uh, on LBM and how to restore data from that. I have added a new disk to my system and uh, I'll now scan it uh, to check, uh, like to uh, see it in the system. Uh, now you can see that uh, I have scanned my device tree. Uh, I have passed on this command echo uh, on my SCSI host and uh, now you can see there is a new disk added to my system that is of 5 GB I'll uh, create a PV this has been created I'll create a PG now Uh, that's uh, you can see uh, not allocatable. What I'll do, I'll create a BG which create DBBG. Okay, this disk 5GB. Yeah, it's created now. You can see it is allocatable now. Yes, so our BG has been created. You can see it here. I've created this VG. I've created this VG. You can see it now. You can see that I have created a LV of 400 MB of size. Okay, the LV name is DB Paul. Uh, I'll create a file system on top of it. So let me do that. Also, it should be Dave. So, my file system is created now. Okay, um, I'll, okay, I'll let me aim on this file system. Okay, let me mount the file system. I created a mount point. Let me mount it. Mount happen T X T three. Then Dave D V V Z and D V Wall and I should mount it on D B data. Yes, that's been mounted now. Let me check it. Um, db data yeah so it is mounted now okay now i'll go ahead and uh, create an snap volume for my db wall that just i have created so i have given a 400 mb the new the snap volume name is db snap ball and my volume is dbvg <coughs> db wall yeah <coughs> so so db snap ball is created what we can do is we can do uh, lb display of dbvg okay you can now check it that uh, this is my db ball and this is my DB snap wall. Okay, uh, what you can check here is uh, you can see that LV snapshot source of DB snap ball active. Okay, and uh, active destination for DB ball. So I've created a snapshot now. So Let's uh, mount uh, mount our uh, DB snap ball and see like what is the data in it. Okay. Okay, I have now mounted uh, the DB snap ball on MNT, 
and you can see both of them is having the same or uh, the size is same so there would not be anything else in that because they have just created so I'll put in some data and then we see that it's been you know uh, taking uh, the concurrent uh, data backups so basically uh, to uh, do this exercise more fruitful what I have did is I have uh, removed that uh, snap wall I have created uh, like I have copied some data into my db data file system and then uh, did a snap wall again uh, so that we can have some data and we can actually uh, differentiate that uh, what's being changed or what's being you know mm, uh, what we are getting out of it like uh, how we are taking backup as a snapshot and then you know so to mainly uh, differentiate so I have uh, copied DTC uh, data to DB data so <coughs> and I uh, have created a snap wall slash uh, uh, this uh, DV snap ball and mounted that on slash MNT. so you can see uh, uh, 21 MB it is uh, taking 6 percent so so as the snapshot has been taken now let me uh, go to DB data folder DB data and let me uh, create some new files like uh, you know let me clear it yeah. now what I'll do is I'll uh, create some new file uh, let's see Ram Lakshman Sita and uh, LS okay this three file I have created okay so this files has been created after you know uh, my uh, snap wall has been taken like the snapshot has been taken let me go there it should not be there the no, sorry it is an MNT right so let me go there okay let me do no no such file or directory so now the real purpose comes like uh, there is a situation where uh, your uh, uh, your your file system got crashed and uh, you want to restore the data now you have a snapshot uh, you have a snapshot taken so you want to you know uh, you want to have that uh, like uh, you want to restore your data from that snapshot taken so that uh, like you will have a in uh, data integrity in place or uh, uh, have a correct data when uh, the last snapshot has been taken so let's do that exercise so basically uh, the the restore what I uh, what I have to do is now uh, like I have to do the restore from the snapshot so it should not have these three files which we have created that Ram Lakshman Sita so uh, let me do that let me uh, demonstrate that to you okay you can see now what I have did is uh, I have created another volume called DB data restore uh, of same size and uh, then what I did is I have uh, restored the data from the DB snap wall uh, to DB data restore so that, uh, that operation has been done so what I'll do is I'll mount this particular uh, uh, data restore um, uh, mount point and then I'll see uh, is that the data available or not okay uh, you can see uh, that I have restored the data on to DB data restore I mounted that uh, um, DB data restore in slash MNT and you can see it has uh, it is having same 21 MB of data uh, uh, data as before uh, like we have uh, as uh, we have that in snap wall so let me do clear let me get into MNT and we'll see if we have Ram Sita Lakshman file or not uh, we'll see if we have Ram Sita Lakshman no and LA Ram Sita Lakshman no those files are not uh, there so uh, 
it is uh, as as expected we don't we don't have uh, the ram sita lakshman file so the last step what we can do is we have to you know uh, we have to delete this uh, uh, you have to delete uh, the snap wall uh, to uh, reclaim your storage that is being used by the uh, snap wall and uh, because uh, you no more required you have restored the data whatever you require and you are good to go uh, and how to that uh, again simple uh, command what you have to do uh, is uh, lb remove and uh, let me give that should be dev db vg and db db snap wall here we go remove yeah that's remove lb display db vg okay so dv uh, you know uh, dv data restore is there we have not done uh, deleted it and uh, we have deleted dv snap all that's deleted now it's uh, now uh, you got to know that how to uh, you know how snapshot would be useful to create data backups and how to restore data from the snapshot uh, thanks for watching this video if you like this video do hit the like button or leave your comments. Thank you.